Hi! So this is Emily and I am a tech editor for crochet and knit designers and I wanted to come on to offer an idea of having a, a weekly video that gives me a chance to share with you some of my thoughts about editing and um, crochet writing, knit writing, mostly crochet writing. Um, and uh, and the relationship between designers and tech editors and I had thought maybe I could do a live video but guess what I don't have a lot of followers on YouTube so I, they're not gonna let me go live they will let me record and post of course like anybody else uh, but live on YouTube isn't an option for me right now maybe I'm just not updated enough I don't know I'm guessing it's because I don't have enough followers but I could still post videos here, express some of my thoughts. We could have an area where you could submit questions to me to answer on this video once a week. The great thing is Mondays and Tuesdays are gonna be really, really quiet here at home because all five kids are going to be gone. Ha, yay. So it'll be quiet enough for me to do a video, share my thoughts with you about things that have come across, I've come across in patterns. Um, you know, examples could be just stuff from uh, how to phrase things in a pattern. Uh, you know, I have um, questions a lot of times about um, what do you call the first stitch kind of thing. Like if the beginning chain counts as a stitch, then what are you calling the place where the next one goes? Like is it in the next stitch or is it in the first stitch? You know, questions like that. Um, and so Sometimes a lot of that could be better expressed by just talking about it than making a blog post about it. So I would want to go over things like that. Or if I had other concerns or, or um, issues come up with various patterns or, or just questions between the relationship between the designer and the tech editor. And that would be things like, you know, what am, what am I going to cover when I edit a pattern? And what am I going to consider a design feature, which would be something that I don't question or evaluate in maybe as detailed form as someone else would. Um, sometimes it's it's a it's a it's a weird fine line between what the tech editor checks and what would become evident in testing from the tester. And um, and the designer needs to be really clear with both the tech editor and the tester. This is something I need you to address. And maybe maybe designers don't know that if it's a design feature, I'm not necessarily going to be evaluating it very closely unless you ask me to check on it. Um, but there there are a lot of basic things that I am checking about a pattern, um, and so it's it's kind of confusing knowing where that line is a lot of times with patterns and so I wanted to find a way to share that with you and and let you know what my thoughts were and it, hey if I'm totally in the wrong and there are certain things that I need to be checking every single time then you know you let me know um, but but it's it's kind of a, a odd situation I'm in sometimes trying to clarify your pattern so it would be understandable by everybody but not trying to make all the designers write in exactly the same way. I mean, you're you're not computers. You're not going to just spit out the information exactly the same. So I want to be able for I want to allow you to maintain your voice and your pattern. Um, and so sometimes there's things that um, I might not change or correct in a certain way. And it, oh, it's so confusing sometimes. Um, so I just wanted to find a way to share some of that information with you and YouTube could be an option but it wouldn't be an interactive live situation right now. So our options are Facebook where it could maintain a presence for a long time or Instagram where uh, it may be more interactive but the video dies after a while. So uh, that's kind of the situation that we're in at this point. And I'm going to let you um, add some comments on here. Just let me know what you think about it. And, uh, and we'll go from there. So thanks. Bye.